Hi everyone, Rob here from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. And in this video, I am going to talk about uh, organizing your course discussion forums to keep them neat and tidy for you and for your students and to make them just a little bit more manageable. Now, if you have ever worked in a Moodle discussion forum, you've probably seen a situation like this. I have over 30 students in this particular course and a question was posted for them to respond to. You can see the question up here. And this is what students would see when they uh, log in and they go to this discussion forum. They see an individual post by each one of these students. And you can see here that uh, with all of the replies, there are dozens and dozens of these to keep up on. If I had more than one question posted for this particular week, it would be extremely difficult for my students to flow, uh, follow the flow through all of these and find out which ones relate to the first question and which ones relate to the second question. And it could be quite overwhelming for students to keep track of this. The other problem that I find when you have this type of a discussion forum is that if I post a question for my students, every student tends to type up an individualized uh, complete response to this question and they post that and there's no real flow to the conversation. It's simply everybody answering the same question. A lot of points get uh, reiterated over and over again by students. So how do I handle this so that I get a more natural flow to the conversation and so that students are not overwhelmed with the sheer volume of the posts that are in here, especially if I have more than one question posted for my students? Well, if we have a look at this other course, and I come back to my week one discussions here, you'll see that there are just six top level posts and they're all numbered corresponding to the questions that I've asked my students. So let's just stick with these first three here because this is a compressed version of the course for the spring session. So it has two weeks worth of discussion posts in just the week one discussions. In a regular 13 week term, I just have these first three here. Now I have a copy of the questions for these first three posts. And what I will do is I will start the post off by posting topic 1.1, what do instructional designers do? I will ask the question and then students will respond to me. And that way they're seeing each other's responses. They're replying to each other. They're keeping that discussion flow going. And when students come into the week one discussions, they're not overwhelmed with seeing something like this. They're seeing three or four or five discrete topics with the number of replies. It's easy to keep things organized and to concentrate on just one question at a time. So how do I actually go about creating something like this? I'm going to use this old course space that I have, uh, which has not actually been used in a while and doesn't actually have any topics in it. And I'm going to set up a new discussion forum in here and walk through the steps of creating those initial discussion prompts and pinning them so that they actually show up at the top of a list rather than in chronological order. They'll always stay at the top of a list in the desired order for you. So first I'm going to need to turn my editing on from my Moodle space and I will scroll down to my next empty topic here and click on add an activity or resource and I look for forum. Now this is week two so I will call this the week two discussions and I'll add a little note here for my students. Please respond to my initial prompts or something to that effect. All of my other settings, my configurations are fine, so I will hit save and display. Now I'm going to grab my questions. I have topics 1, 1, 1, 2, and 1, 3. The problem is if I were to pin these in order and I put topic 1, 1 first, then it's going to put topic 1, 2 above that and topic 1, 3 above that. It pins them at the very top in the order that you post them. So the most recent pinned one goes at top. So I'm actually gonna do this in reverse order. And I'll start with topic one, three, and I will add a new discussion thread. And I'll grab my text for this and paste that in here. These are gonna be bullet points. This is ready to go, except I need to check off this pinned icon here. Check that checkbox, hit post to the forum. It now has 
that topic posted, I will go and add my second one, which is topic one, two. Get my text for this. Pin it. You'll notice now that one, two has appeared above one, three. I will add one more topic. I'll grab topic one, one. Get my text for this one. Paste that in place, pin it, and post a form. So now when my students log into the week two discussions, they're going to see just these three with the total number of replies, and they'll be able to keep that conversation going. Now, this method of pinning your discussion post at the top actually works quite nicely for your course announcements as well. If I go into the announcements area, the news forum, and I add a new topic, I can pin that as well, just as I did here in this course. If I look at my news forum, you'll note that I had a few posts that were pinned to the top. These are ones that students may need to refer to multiple times throughout the term. They're very important announcements. The rest of these down here show up in chronological order when I posted them. Anything that's pinned will show up at the top and make it nice and easy for students to find and keep track of.